Hey guys, Jenna here, your favorite little southern girl from uh, the Superpowered Fancast. Not really, because, you know, there's also Stephanie, but you love me too. You love us both equally. It's fine. We get it. Anyways, hi! Um, here for another trailer review. You'll never guess which one. Um, <laughs> let's just say, like, the Wonder Woman trailer came out yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. Yes. And it was beautiful. I'm so excited about this movie, and I really wasn't that crazy about Gal when they first announced her as Wonder Woman, but she really sold me in Batman vs. Superman, and she is really, really selling me in these trailers. From her accent, to her stature, to the end of the trailer where she's kicking her leg in the little dress, and I'm just like, yes, because that's not a warrior's wear, and we all know that. I mean, come on. You can't fight in a dress. It's hard done okay so yes so things we've learned from the trailer so far is that the action sequences look fantastic we saw that in the last one and we saw that in this one i absolutely love the bullet scenes where they're hitting her gauntlet and slowing down and it's just it gives me all the feelings in the world all of them ever but we also learned in this trailer, which we didn't see last time, that they are completely changing her backstory. Well, not completely. We're still having Steve, Trevor crash on the mascara and her rescue him. And I don't know how much of them falling in love we're going to see on the island. Um, but that's not the reason she leaves. She does not leave the mascara to take Steve Trevor home, apparently, in this one. Because we see soldiers barging in on the mascara which is crazy <laughs> and if i'm saying that wrong what forgive me it's late at night but that's how i've always pronounced it so back off. <laughs> um, but yes we're seeing soldiers coming to the mascara and she's taking up arm or like she's taking up arms to go fight in this war and i think that's really like it's changing her backstory a little bit but it's making it more like mature like it's, it's giving it more purpose because hey i won a contest to get to take him home and so i get to take on the mantle of steve or of Wonder Woman because I love Steve Trevor. It's not super empowering, and this is, so I'm okay with it. I'm completely all right with it. I think it looks great. I love the witty banter. I love seeing her in, um, like thrown into our world and the stark contrast. We didn't get to see a lot of um, Hippolyta in this trailer, but we did in the last one in Queen. But we do get to see so much of Diana, even though is she going to be? I mean, we obviously know she's Diana, but if you don't know, she takes on the mantle of Diana Prince because she runs into this nurse, this army nurse, who is not wanting to be a nurse anymore. She wants to run off with her fiance, and they just happen to look just alike, and her name is Diana Prince, and so our Diana takes on Diana Prince's Diana's role and lets the other one run off with fiance. So yeah, so obviously she's not a nurse she's playing steve trevor's secretary and we'll see how that goes but otherwise i'm super excited about it the trailer looked awesome the action scenes looked awesome the slow-mo was great and they waited like to the very last minute to start playing that really like da -da -da <laughs> music and it got me pumped i'm excited i hope you're excited and look out for the next one guys and, uh, of course, as always, check us out, www.superpoweredfancast.com. And, you know, you're on our YouTube right now. So, hey, bye.